All right. Welcome back to Bullethead's house. Um, it's not about. It's not about me. It is in a way, but it's not. I am compelled to do this. I, I have to do this. I have to say something. I have to use this platform to say something. I wasn't going to say something because I don't want publicity for someone's death. I don't want publicity. I paused even with the Ahmaud Arbery case. But I feel like I have a platform. And as a black man, an African-American, an indigenous American, I have to say something. I have to speak up. And I have to say something about the matter. Let my voice be heard, and for those who want to listen, please pay attention. And if you don't want to hear it, oh well, it is what it is. But I'm coming from my heart with this one. Now, first off, I'd like to say rest in peace to George Floyd. Um, watching video hurt me to the core to where I lost sleep and I did not lose sleep like that since I'm on Arbery and before that I didn't lose sleep like that until we lost Nipsey I didn't know neither three of those brothers but you could feel it the spirit our spirits are connected and you can feel it in your heart you can feel it in your body can feel it in your soul and I lost sleep staying alert staying up just wondering is there a war out on us black men brown men yellow if you want to call yourself yellow men as Asians but you're brown if you ask me I, I say this to know to my to my brothers who are are black I love you to my brothers who are Latino I love you Asian I love you Um, this one is about us on this one I grew up very multicultural but I love being black I love being black I love being athletic, I love being intelligent, I love being able to know that I have family, our values, our respect, our strength, we can go out into the sun and travel, we don't need sunblock, we don't need to water down anything. We don't need to copy off anybody because we set trend. We make hip hop. We make soul music. We make rock and roll. We make everything groovy. Uh, To see what's going on with hatred and, and the way people really think, it hurts. It hurts to see people you grew up with have their comments and who they support they don't support you they just want to see what's going on with you they want to they want to know but when it comes down to it they don't give a damn to see a person of color that's Asian African American Latino to sit back and support the racist racist white people (laughs) They support them because they think they're uh, just as equal, but they don't know when those racist white people aren't with you, whether it's your husband, your friend, they talk about you just like the person you are. You could be a Latino and support Trump and whatever, but in their eyes, you are a good boy. This is how I feel. And this is how I see it. This is how, because I know I know, I know some rednecks. I know how they get down and I know how they talk.
bring this back to the matter of what, you, what it really is. And what I want to say is, if you are a person of color, stand up. Stand up and speak out on racism. Speak out on social injustice. How I feel. I can speak about social injustice is because I know it. I've been beaten up by the police. Did I commit a crime? Yes. Did I fight or resist arrest? Hell no. I put my hands on the hood like he told me to. He said, get them out your pockets. Next thing you know, I got hit in the neck and I'm down on the ground and he slammed my face on the ground multiple times. This was back in 2007. It was so bad, my face was, was messed up so bad. He wasn't even considered the arresting officer. I was so high and drunk out of my mind, I didn't know my rights. So I didn't get no badge numbers. Um, the police uh, supervisor, sergeant came by, asked me if I was all right. And they took pictures of me because of what happened. I didn't file any complaints. I didn't know, I wasn't in the right mind state. I was 25 years old, 24 years old. You know, I was young and dumb. I thought that I deserved that ass whooping. That's what I thought, because I committed a crime. I, I wasn't thinking about excessive force in the way that police do people. I, I've been pulled over for no reason and said it was just a tell like knowing damn well it was because I was black. I was in a Cadillac with some shiny ass rims that looked good. And it wasn't no Cadillac like that over there on the block on Trop and Boulder. I know for a fact. And the only few ones that I see over there, I know who they are. I took the deuce up to them. I, you see somebody when they when they when they shining good in the old school and they take it out on the block. I got pulled over and harassed for that. We, uh, I started walking down to my friend's house at about 13, 14. Uh, that's when you finally realize you get harassed for no reason on the east side. You gotta walk from Desert Inn and, and Sand Hill all the way down to Boulder Highway in Flamingo, uh, Mount Vista and Twain area. And then you're walking around, we going all the way down to Nellis and Trop, that's the east side. <laughs> So as you get older, you start to get pulled over for no reason. Where are you guys going? Um, I've been pulled over with a white guy in the car and they'll pull him to the side and ask, is he okay? We've had these incidences occur. We've had so much happen that I understand social injustice. I understand it to the fullest, you know? Um, I'm appalled. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I went out last night to check the protesters out. I went downtown, uh, down to the strip. And to see the multitude of people, the races, the mixture is beautiful. The youth, 18 and up. Some, I don't know if they were younger than 18, but it was it was hundreds, maybe thousands, from the Flamingo Hotel I saw all the way down to the down down the Circus Circus, past Circus Circus. Uh, my advice is for the the people that are 18 and up: you gotta vote, or nothing is gonna change. All that marching ain't doing shit if you don't go vote, period. Protesting ain't gonna help if you don't go vote. Because after the protesting is done, we're still here. You got people who are traditional, older white folks, they vote heavy. That, that, that's who has Sisolak in office. That's who has Goodman in office. It's the, the, them. It's their, it's their crowd who's voting. 
the younger crowd ain't voting or we would have our way right now. Uh, we're, we got to be a part of the solution and not the problem. Even myself. Even myself. I'm hurt. I'm hurt by the death of, of George Floyd. I'm hurt by the death of every thing I've ever saw from Eric Garner. I'm hurt by that. Ahmaud Arbery. Even if they say he was up to no good, they chased him down like a dog. And was waiting. They ran in the house to get their guns to go and do a citizen's arrest. The fuck? You're not a... You're not... Who, who are you to go do that? Let's go get our guns. Because that person was in that house. Who are you to do that? I've been in loss prevention for 12 years. I just got out of it. Thank God. I work for myself. I've been on the phone with this batch. Chasing criminals. And they tell you to keep a safe distance. Do not approach. Do not approach. Wait till somebody arrives. If you're not an officer and wearing that uniform, don't approach nobody. They went and did that because they knew he was a, you know what he was. That's what they consider us. And they knew what they wanted to do because they were waiting for the any type of slip. So in these moments, man, I feel it. And I, and I see it and I understand it. And it sucks that I have people that I grew up with, they're not friends, that don't understand it. People who are the same kind, African-American people that I know that don't understand this. Um, they, they, they don't feel no sorrow, no nothing. My heart goes out to the Floyd family, the Garner family, the Trayvon Martin family, every family that's lost anyone, Ahmaud Arbery's family. Uh, my heart goes out to them. I'm hurt. I don't sleep much. Just like, you know, they they practice their rights and get bare arms, we, we, we practice ours. This isn't about race until you make it racial. If you don't support us about social injustice, you make it racial. You show your colors. Uh, I saw, you know, a picture with with a, a police car with graffiti on it and they say well that cop has to come out to see his car like that that car has insurance our lives don't Just don't be, don't be so worried about that fucking car worried about worry about our lives you gotta see why people are mad and frustrated and I think people don't get upset until it really happens. Something really happens to them. You're with us. Stand with us. Because even after the protesting is over, we still got to go out. We are walking protest every day. Every day. I told my boy I've been protesting since I was born. But now it's like, now we really unify. I love all colors. Don't get me wrong. And that's why I'm sending my love to everybody. To my African Americans, I love you. I don't have to know you to, to not love you. To my Asian Americans, I love you. Latino Americans, I love you. Caucasian Americans, I love you. If you are not racist and if you are standing up for us. If you're not with us, you're against us. I don't know if I can still love you. 